right, here we are, folks. We're here on Prevail Man, week three. Oh, let me turn off this sound. At least you guys can hear the others fan, but the AC is off now. Thanks, the abattoir. Appreciate that, brother. I appreciate the way you played against Solo the other day, by the way. That was, that was great. I know you didn't get the W, but I, I thought you going toe-to-toe -to -toe with Solo, it's, it's a tough thing to do. Not a lot of people can do it, so, you know, props to you. You came up with a couple teams that gave him the shakes, so. Let's actually start with this now, guys. We've got Prevail Man. We've gotten full clears every time, and we're in contention I think for top 10 pro maybe even top spot we'll see we'll have to see how things go we have to really prioritize crit chance up one thing I didn't do I'm, I'm thinking back now guys with my alt I could have used Hans shrug and gotten a, a few crit chance ups on everyone this this one's gonna be something that not every player gets though cuz it's a it's a tricky one to get. We can get it with Basti and Grandmaster Yoda, though. So hopefully we can spam that a little bit. And then otherwise, we need to get kills with characters present at Bespin. So if they have if they have nice sisters here that we can just farm on Zombie, we could actually just get both feats that way. We'll, we'll have to see what they have, though. I have no idea. Did not scout my opponent. Actually, I did just glance. So they, they have Endurance as their main fleet. So... Clearly just kind of a collector. I mean, they do have Jedi and Darth Revan. Z both. So, uh, they don't have Malak, though. So, without Malak, Darth Revan is... He's not as scary. We, we still gotta take him seriously, but he's not as scary. So, let's see. Nice. Okay. That's all they've got. Four fleets. And I believe we have a seven star. If I believe... I think we locked in with a seven star negotiator yeah check that out guys seven star negotiator here we're gonna take out owen from the bad batch <laughs> that's the alternate history of how the bad batch did uh or what, how uncle owen did like he faked his own death and went and joined bad batch All right, let me show you guys my defense didn't really change it that much from last week but we've got padme up here this team is coming right along you see gear 12 on gk Gear 12 on Padme. Uh, Ahsoka's even getting some. Everyone's got their Zetas. Anakin has gear 13. And then we have, in contrast, this really awesome Akbar left leftover team. Not good, even in the slightest bit. In the back, as per usual, we've got Ewoks and Geos. Oh, I think I actually put a really good. I rolled right before lock, I rolled up a bunch of really good mods, guys. And I think that Pat Blue actually got. Just happened to have one of them. So let me see, which one is it? Yeah, check this out. <laughs> He's got protection, 22 speed. He probably, it's probably too good for him, but for now, this this is a this is a nice mod. And I was like, oh, let's let's just make him kind of fast. So so we've got up top a nice sisters team that we need more Zetas on. We got the lead on Talzin with a little bit more gear and everything. We do have gear 10 on Zombie, which is the most important level to be considering. And then uh, a Phoenix team that will surprise people because that Zeta on Sabine can really mess with people if you're not ready for it. And then I just, I don't know, maybe, maybe he has a fleet that can beat this, but... This is a really tough fleet to just wing it. Like, without a plan, it's it's really tough to beat. So what, it looks like they do have Night Sisters. I don't know if it's going to be... Oh, it's a garbage Night Sisters team, though. We can't really farm anything on it. Okay, we'll, we'll just use, like, an undersized Bosk team there, probably. Crew without any Zeta or anything. Hmm. Maybe, maybe we use Bounty Hunters there to undersize. I don't really have gosh they, they put in some pretty awful stuff guys so we're gonna need to be we need to be efficient here or uh, that they, they can beat us on efficiency I guess let's go check and see what kind of history does Owen have with I'm just glad he put out down teams frankly guys I don't want to do an auto deploy but let's see so not recently at least he, he may he came close to kyber he made a top rank in erodium it's like if he had lost if he's won his last match if he's won his last match he could have gotten in or something so they do have a vader squad here I mean, 
We could use the mirror, I guess. Let's see. Hmm. We want a team that Grandmaster Yoda can just get a ton of kills on. Or the, uh, not kills, but we can get a whole lot of... We, I just I want to get that that feat. It's gonna be really tough to get with the teams that are presented here, guys. I won't lie. Um, because yeah, if any of these nice sisters get turns, which they will, they'll just kill themselves on on my Commander Luke team. I guess we could use we could use our pretty bad Jedi here against this. I mean, they're not bad Jedi. I, I shouldn't say that, but. Uh, I was gonna say he can he can pass his turn to Basti, but it, literally his AOE probably just wipes them out entirely. Anyways, I guess they're they're faster under now. Let's take Basti lead. That way we can be relatively certain that we'll get our banners back. So if we do this, is this this should still beat that Night Sisters team, I think. While still allowing us an opportunity to get at least two batches of, I oh know we want we want to maximize our Jedi actually, because we want to be able to get as much crit chance up as possible. So what happens is Basti hands a buff to Grandmaster Yoda, then he distributes distributes it to everyone. So that's that will be that will count as a seven, seven total buffs that they would spread doing that. And then I don't know if we can get it to wrap around again. That's that's the tricky part. Yeah, I, I really... I'm, I'm feeling a little pessimistic about our chances here, guys, of being able to get this. But... Tell you what, let, we'll mark Daka here for funsies. Um, Alright, I guess we just have to do a basic... Oh, and... <laughs> Zombie just didn't... Revive at all. Okay. Um, what you doing, zombie? You're supposed to revive at least once. That was embarrassing for you, I'm sure. Oh no! Asage timed it just right. We can't even spread that buff. Oh my gosh. Well, that was that was well timed, Asage. I guess I'm just gonna get vindictive now. Oh, that didn't even kill everyone. That's that's good, I guess. Kill Asajj now. Um, yeah, we're not gonna spread buffs. Cause we're gonna hit Talzin for funsies. All right. If we can hold off on killing that zombie too much, then maybe we have a shot at getting some buffs out. I think we're just screwed, though. I think this screws us. <laughs> okay, well, that was a fiasco and a half, guys. Because we could have undersized it for a lot. I just wanted to get that feat. Ah, <sighs> disappointed. Right, crew team, let's use bounty hunters here. Yeah, I don't I don't know if we're going to get that feat now. If Grief was better, I think he does crit chance up. Uh, but but he, we don't have him really available. Well, what does he do? What, what does he do right now? Oh, I didn't... Okay, I need to level up. I need to actually put stuff on him. Right now he's not. Even though he has gear 7, I need, I need to actually make him usable. Okay. Boba wasn't present at Bespin? Yeah, guys, totally not. You didn't know that? <laughs> okay, so let's so if this is an important point, guys. If you're if you're a newer player, this is something you can miss. You always when you do your AoE, you want to target someone with a debuff, because it, it it if you if it procs, you can decrease the person's max health. So see that max health down? It goes down by 25%. It's so it's a fairly big deal. All right, he's only going to do a basic next time. Let's stun Executioner. And now we can get the contract on him a bit. Oh, we've got 
A multi-turn stun on Boba. That's that's not very sporting of you. Let's get the double tap on this dude. Oh, look at that. Now it's dispelled. Now we'll dispel Kylo. That's our theme today, guys. Characters. I feel like we're playing Jeopardy. Characters you dispel for 200. And the answer to this one was crew. Ooh, I've got Geos in the back. They're tricksy. We could have used a really good team before. I guess now... Hmm... I mean, we've got options here. We can... Where does Nest... Where, where, what's Nest going to do here? Let's, let's find out what Nest is going to do. Nest is not a great solution for this mall team. Well, let's see. I think that Dooku's he probably got enough to actually stun Nest. Let's see what he's got. Yeah, he's got a good enough potency. Okay, so I think Nest, if she goes anywhere, going to have to go against the Phoenix Squad. Which is probably fine. Let's see what they're doing with Zeb. What kind of potency? No potency to speak of. Yeah, that's got Nest written all over it. Alright, let's do the AoE. Just for funsies. You guys... I know you guys all appreciate... You, you all value funsies quite a bit, so... There, like like Zeb, he wants to be gone here so he can be out experiencing funsies elsewhere. Which I, I'm happy to oblige, frankly. He's, you know, he's a good dude. We can we can let him do that. Uh, same with Ezra. But but Chopper first, of course, because screw that guy. There we go. That was a little, that was a little bit vindictive, Nest. I'm a little, I don't know. I don't, I don't want to mess with you now. It's scary, it's scaring me. All right, against these geos here, let's let's get Palp, Treya, Vader. Well, let's take Watt. Oh no, no, no. We'll take Basti instead. Yeah, this would be just fine, perhaps. This Geo Squad is a little scarier than you might think in the back zone, just because if I had used this squad previously, I, we could have had issues. All right. Oh, Spy, we missed, though. That that might cause issues all on its own. And we missed Poggle. Whew. It's a little bit crazy. And, and we... Is, is Vader just... He's just not, he's just kind of mailed it in today. Look at that Miss Poggle. Oh man. Let's see what we've got here. A couple debuffs. See if that's enough for Spy. Okay, it is. Spy liked it. Spy was good with it. Alright, get some debuffs out here. Try to stun everyone that we can. None of them took, though. That's no fun. Alright. Do the AoE here. Go into Merciless once again. Poggle is stunned. Let's just put him out of our collective misery. Try to get Ability Block on that dude. Nice. Ability Block Soldier right out of here. Do the AoE on Sunfac so that Sunfac can't hit us back. Uh, he can't hit us back because he's got Fracture. Now we can throw the Saber here. There's no way to heal Palp, so we can just finish it. 60. With an undersize, not that we really needed that, but cool. Zonder, hello, hello there, how hard are Executor Mirror matches? They're hard enough? I don't, I don't know how to answer that question, honestly. It's a... Uh, yeah, but they're not they're not too tough. What do we got here? Not too tough. You got to be cautious, though. Of course, they they can be tricky because sometimes you just they're very RNG laden. All right, let's shoot Pelp first because he's doing all of the. 
passive damage there. Let's try to stun Thrawn so he doesn't do anything. Try to stun TIE Pilot right out of existing. Alright, the issue here, guys, is we don't want we don't want Chewie to get any kills. We want everyone else to get kills. So we'll just do a basic there. Chewie probably just gets the kill here. Oh, Chupio snuck in and got it. Hopefully we got some kills at least. Didn't get any shrugs from Han though, so I think we're just screwed out of luck on getting that feat. What do we got? <laughs> Great chance up, yeah, 2 out of 50. <laughs> okay. okay. Uh, we only got three kills with these enterprising young fellows, too, which is not really enough. Uh, that, that one's going to be a really tricky one, actually. We're going to gonna have to focus a little harder on that one in the future. And then somehow Grievous was a, it was in best bin at the time. I don't think I have anyone else. I don't think I have anyone that can actually do anything. Let's see, so we've got Grievous here. What do we want to do? So that, that's not a good trail, only level 51. Nihilus, uh, I mean, Maul, he, he gives some health to people, doesn't he? He gives them, gives them evasion and turn meter when I evade. That's all? Okay, so can we just do... Can we just do this? I mean, I guess we could take more. I don't know if more is warranted. We could take Watt. I'm gonna take Watt. He, even if he dies, we can make it make it so that Grievous can't dispel. I mean, he can't get stunned. All right, we'll give the weapons tech to this dude. All right, do the AOE. I know Dooku's gonna hit back. Oh, but he missed actually. I missed against him. That was wonderful. So now we can do that for sixty-two. <laughs> okay. Sweet. Love it. Love it when you can just AoE an entire team to death with two AoEs. Feels feels good. And finally, oh, they've got Geos with Chimera here. That's, that's a decent fleet. Why don't we take Negotiator for a spin, guys? We haven't done that yet, really. Uh, we could even use our BTL. It's not that good yet, but... I think we want this as our stuff. Well, I like Houndstooth here. You know what? Let's let's take let's take Houndstooth. Umbaran, I think, is only gear eight though. Yeah. Does Fives have any abilities? Yeah, some of his abilities got. Yeah. I mean, I think they just nuke Fives right away though if we're not super cautious. The Grievous fight worked out perfectly. Yeah, it did, actually. That was that was nice. Wasn't sure what to expect. Just like this, guys. I'm not I'm not entirely certain this is gonna be a healthy match. I, I think we'll win. We've got gear levels on them and stuff, but should we bring this many people? I I just don't know. I don't think BTL is actually gonna add anything for us though. As well take one of our banners off, you know, gain one of our banners, whatever. See, I'm giving me advice on what to use, because he's the one who runs it. <laughs> I think that's wise. Alright, so see if we can take Sunfac out entirely. Not quite, but we did get days on everyone. Ooh, and we got target lock. Maybe we, uh, we won't get a twofer, because this fives is not... Great. Mm, let's see. Let's just sneak a little hit here on Spy for funsies. And then... Hmm, alright, we'll give this... I want to get po I want to time our Poggle arrival. Guys, I want Poggle to get in. Or not Poggle, sorry, Plo. I want Plo to come in right at the right time and save us. That might not actually work the way I... Oh yeah, here we go. Okay, so we get Plo here. 
heal everyone, give everyone turn meter, and maybe... Ah, oh, they got the reinforcements. I thought maybe we'd get enough turn meter to actually just wipe this soldier out. But Bosk is taunting. Wonderful. So we can land that debuff. Uh, let's see. We can give a little bit of protection back to him. Uh, so that the him having that, that debuff is actually pretty huge. The buff immunity? Ah, oh, it's gone now. But we managed to get a, lo a long way through his, his stuff. I don't know. Let's, let's just do this. This might actually just finish it for us. What do we end up with? 65. That's good. 66. I think 67 would have been the max for us. I guess 68. Oh, we dropped three. That's fine. And, and really just dropped one from the soft max. My guess is that's above the soft max. I, I don't know. What did we do? What did we end up with? We got a 58 on one of them, and then the rest I think we made up banners for the most part. Or we drew, we went... drew even. Yeah, you're right, Sim. I just, you know, you assume these things. I assume these things. Cool. So... Did we already get all of the undersized feats? Apparently. Gosh, they have that crit chance up, guys. I don't, I don't think we're going to get it. So, that being said, here, let's stop recording for Prevail Man. Let's see how this guy does. I don't, I don't think. I don't hold high hopes for my opponent. Oh, well, what's up, folks? <laughs> let's, let's get into this. I've been streaming and doing these videos for a long time. I am tired. So, uh, my alt showed me we are not getting this crit chance up. Uh, that's just not really an option for me. So we're just gonna ignore it unless there is a Night Sisters team that we can farm uh, it on. Otherwise, we do need to make sure that we're getting lots of kills uh, with the characters that were on Bespin. That's probably gonna be our better farm. Uh, so, didn't scout my opponent, just left my stuff to lie. I guess we can go look and see how I did. Let's look at this guy's roster real quick though. So. Pretty relic light, actually, which means he's going to have a pretty deep roster. It's got some interesting, like, Sidious with his Zeta. Hmm. <laughs> right next to... Hold on, where, where was that? Really close to, at least. This Kenobi without a Zeta. So, it's got some interesting priorities. It's fine. Jedi Revan, no Darth Revan. Alright, no idea. Let's see. Okay, lifetime. Let's look at his... Okay, Chromium. Oh, is this going to be an auto-deploy? Let's, let's really hope not, guys. Uh, let, let's look at our... <laughs> this is... If it's an auto-deploy in week three, it's round two, it's it's pretty bad. So, fighting this Owen guy. He did attack. He even cleared. You can see we beat him by 61. Let's see what he got. So, zero fails there. Zero fails there. Zero fails there. What did they even do? I didn't look. I just looked at the score. I didn't look at the... Oh, <laughs> okay. So that cost them 30 banners there. Then they were just inefficient in other fights. I mean, guys, having a good fleet. It's, it's really important. I'm impressed. He actually got through. I thought that he was screwed on my ships. Let's see how this guy's ships are. He's got Mace as the ship. So three on offense, one on defense, probably. All right, let's see. Is it auto deploy? We just let him roll over. Whoops. <sighs> this looks like auto deploy, guys. Oh, well, maybe not. This is wedge, maybe. Oh, this isn't okay. All right, I take it back. We've got the same defenses. You guys saw that already. We don't need to waste time on it. What do they got? Oh, some bounty hunters. Some better. Well, <laughs> they're like the exact same level of bounty hunters as mine. Let's see, this Padme squad is something, though. It's it's actually decent. With Barris in there. Uh, let's see. So the Jedi Revan in the back. We Okay, I, I, we just got to figure out what we want to do. So, could you maybe use, like, Pal Plead against it? Let's see, if they have Jedi Revan in the back, I guess. Let me see how good their Jedi Revan team is, guys. Real quick. I know we already looked, but I need to need to see this again. Okay. Okay, this isn't a good Jedi Revan team. If it's on defense, we can use our Grievous to beat it with Watt. So we don't we're not gonna use Watt here. 
Good. Okay. We. I think. I think we've got it solved. Oh, you know what? Nest. Nest could do something. Nest could win this. Actually, let's see what the potency on Anakin is, real quick. Not high. Thirty-five. Potency on Padme. Also not high. We could use Nest here, guys. Have you guys ever seen a Nest solo on Padme? Seems really, really enticing right now. Hmm. Dare we try it? I mean, we're Relic 2 or 3. Ferris can stop a lot of our damage, but eventually we'll just be one-shotting people. I don't know. Let's try it, shall we? Commander Luke would be a much safer option here, by the way. Much safer. Get a quick 60, but... Are right, they kick me? Can do the AoE, kind of fun. And we will just be hitting them back. We actually want to take out Anakin as quick as we can. So they have all this bonus protection, and so we only want to do basics when we do that, because we want to dispel their bonus protection. Okay, Ahsoka is actually the scariest, but uh, Anakin can do a lot of damage if we're doing damage to other people. So, and yeah, we want to take out Anakin as quick as we can. Cool, okay, Anakin might actually just die here by how, oh, maybe not. Now we don't want Ahsoka to go. <laughs> Ahsoka's the one threat to kill us. Uh, no one else has the damage to do it. She has the relics though. Okay, we got an incidental kill, got another one. Now we can focus on Ahsoka. Honestly, we could focus on Padme here. Yeah, let's just take Padme out and hope. Oh good, so Barris hit us first. So then we've got all this bonus protection for Nest. Oh, come on. Don't let, don't let Ahsoka kill us, please. Please don't kill us, Ahsoka. Okay, we can crit her now. Oh, we missed though. Oh, geez. This is, this is a little bit stressful. Okay, we got this. Totally got it. Just do an AOE for fun. Thing is, they gain so many buffs throughout the match that you ramp up your damage from Nest. So, uh, kind of a cheap shot there. I, I feel, I don't really feel bad. It's just, wasn't that nice of us, but. All right, so we use, let's see how their bounty hunters are modded real quick. They do not have the Zeta on Django. Let's see, not, not super fast. Tenacious, uh, kind of tenacious. Yeah, Django doesn't have that Zeta though. That is wonderful for us. He does have crit damage, crit chance, which is the scary stuff, but it means that our bounty hunters can actually revive from a hit from Django. So why don't we use that? I've, I've used... My mosque isn't super fast, but he, he's getting a little faster. Yeah, 27, 294. He's getting there, slowly but surely. So, yeah. We don't... We don't have much of a gear advantage, but we do have some key things here, folks. We have the Django bounty hunter, like the Django unique, so we can kill one of their bounty hunters real quick. Oh, okay. Uh, let's see. I did not actually pay any attention to if they've got... If they have the second Zeta on Bosk. Okay, we're going to do an AoE. Uh, I wanted that to land on... It, it, Boba, we wanted that to land so he'd have a two-turn ability block, but obviously didn't pan out for us. Uh, let's see if we can just reduce Bosk's max health. No. We did get a point toward our contract. Not, not too much, though. Gosh. I don't like this. Their Boba's going to get a huge hit here pretty soon because there's so many debuffs going on. So, let's see. All right. I don't think we can avoid the big hit from Boba. Honestly, guys, this this is scary, actually. Oh, he hit the wrong guy. Wonderful. That is awesome. Okay, let's do a double tap on IG. Got him. See if we can just stun Django. No. Man, we're not, not landing debuffs here, guys. This is not ideal by any stretch. Let's just do a double tap on Boba. Oh my gosh, okay. tap on Boba. Let's get some healing going on here. 
just have to do a mass assist. I guess we don't have to. So if this can just take out their boba, not quite. Gosh. Making me so super nervous here, guys. Okay, double tap him here. Nice. Okay, so he couldn't revive because of his bounty hunter's resolve. That that's what we were going for. He was the one who could take us out pretty easy if we weren't careful. Oh, we got our contract. Double tap on Jingo. Uh, just do a basic, because we can't stun with that metal one. We can save it, though. Let's set Jingo on fire. Maybe we reduce his max health. Yeah, so he's minus 25% of whatever his hit points are. Maybe this just kills him. Close. <laughs> Wrong thing killed him. An assist killed him. Okay, we could get the dispel, though. So unless Django gets a kill, though, we can still take him out. I wanted the final hit on him, though. I wanted him to just die. Like that. Okay, we should be good now. Might take a little bit to take out Bos Bosk, but we, we've got the firepower for that, for sure. For sure-ish. Take out Cad first. Try to get ability block. He's got a, he's got some good tenacity though, so it'll, it's gonna take a minute, obviously. Try to dispel this. Wonderful. Try to get his max health down. Didn't quite work. Didn't stun. The thing about Bosk guys is he has double protection as the lead and double defense, double all sorts of awesome stuff. Until we get rid of, oh, ability block is great. Until we get rid of his protection, once his protection is gone, oops, I misclicked, clicked out of this, okay. Uh, once his protection is gone, then it, he he sinks pretty quick. Oh, I should have used my grenades because I could have gotten tenacity down there. Okay, so watch, we got a double tap from Boba. See how quickly he's he's diminishing now? Time to go to the west for you. Mr. Bosk. Good. Okay, so a 63 and a 60. We're we're on on good footing right now. Look at this. Grievous. Oh, not a good Grievous though. <laughs> good grief hiss. <laughs> really. <laughs> okay. Oh dear lord. Okay. And then uh So the the Geos are by far the most threatening right now. We can use let's use Palpatine lead. With well, how how good are they? Not good. Okay, we, we can use Palp with Vader, and that's it, I think. You know, what, let's let's take Trey along. Just don't know. It's nice to have someone else. We need to start getting Thrawn up. Is what we need. Having him relic, even relic zero, super nice, especially against Geos. Okay, Palp lead. So we do the AOE first. Get another turn, merciless. Only two on Spy, but only gear eight, so probably, yeah. We missed him, that's too bad. Hit that soldier. Do the Force Crush on Brute so he doesn't hit us back. Poggle can dispel. So in fact, can hit us back. Brute can hit us back again, unfortunate. Maybe we get some stuns here though, wonderful. Give this to Vader, so we can get his Merciless off quicker. Uh, put this on you, get the AoE, do Merciless, and yeah, let's just take out there. No, no point in playing with our food at this point, guys. 62, oh, look at that, 62, I thought 61, because they hit, they hit Palpatine, I think. It uh, doesn't matter. Cool, okay, so Wedge lead here. What, what gear levels? Gear level nothing, really. Okay, so let's take let's take these two. Take care of these recalcitrant youths. Maybe this is a mistake. I don't I don't think so though, folks. Just do the AoE, finish them. Yeah. 63 easy ones. Wonderful. And endurance in the back. Wonderful. Hmm. Should we try a Han Solo solo? That's the question, folks. Do it for Ando. Seems kind of fun. I mean... 
Seems like it should work. Should we just try it, guys? Get cocky? Try Han Solo solo. Relic zero versus terrible relics. Let's see, does Magna Guard, is he gonna, is everyone gonna start in stealth already? Or like right now? Yeah, okay, so we'll kill Magna Guard. There we go. Grievous doesn't get the bonus turn though, cause Grievous is just not as fancy. Oh shoot, that Droidica is gonna be a problem actually. So we can't actually kill Droidica. Or we can't dispel Droidica. We can't even, yeah, okay. Well, we'll see if Droidica just one shots us, I guess. Uh, let's see. For now though, let's take out this B1 because Grievous is just going to defer this. Okay, so let's shoot Droidica now while, while we can. I hope we're stunned. Not a great, great result, obviously. Oh, there we go. <laughs> A little dicier than you want, but it's fun to do Han Solo solo every once in a while. Now we got Akbar lead. And we're, we're not even going to pretend to get that feat, I don't believe, guys. Though, hold on. Did Han get getting all those kills? Does that actually count as. <laughs> He's not. He wasn't a character present at Bespin, apparently. Was Han Solo not one of the, let me look. We can look here. Look at the newsletter. Okay, which characters are actually in there that can get kills? Lando, Commander Luke, Rebel Officer Leia. Oh, Han Solo. Oh, we were only at three previously and we got, okay, we're up to five now. Good, good for us. Wonderful, we're awesome. Hold on, what do, what's this? Oh, okay, we have to claim this anyways. Fancy of us. All right, back, back to Furious here. Uh, let's see. I mean, we could take just these two characters so that we can kind of get a guaranteed. I mean, we're not gonna, we probably won't get max banners here if we do it this way. Maybe though, Luke, Luke could do it. Uh, let's, let's do this. So then we're, if, if we win, we're guaranteed another five kills with this type of character. Seems pretty decent actually. So we're gonna do this, and we just wanna chop Leia down right away. Yep. Okay, let's reduce all the stuff. Oh, we cleansed it. Okay. The problem is they just don't have high levels. Like that's, I mean, problem for them, obviously. Okay, we wanna survive a little bit longer just so that Chupio can heal himself a bit. There, well, that's not much of a heal, but. Sixty-two, not a sixty-three. That's fine. And we got another five kills with them, I believe. Let's let's go check that out. Did we get f ten kills this match? Thirteen out of twenty-four. Wonderful. <laughs> cool. We're pretty cool guys. And all right, these are this is decent. What's what's their Anakin? Oh yeah, we we already already killed these guys. Yeah, decent. Bosk is relict. This is a decent team. Hmm, do we take Kenobi or do we take Akbar? I think we take Kenobi now. Now I think I think that's that's the This is the good fleet now, guys. Take these two. And hopefully this is all we need. Let's find out. Shall we? We shall, he said with authority. We shall. Okay. Hmm, so we don't. Their hounds do is gonna hit. So they already did their mass assist. That that's a little scary. So I got distracted for a minute, guys. Um, let's see. Their Anakin might be going before mine. Not quite. Okay, so their Houndstooth is gonna taunt. See if we can just uh, if we got a if we got ability block on or buff immunity on him, that would have been that would have been swell. Oh, we can dispel this though, because they didn't get their breach. 
Okay, hopefully this just finishes off Anakin. Not, not quite. Our Anakin now is a little bit close to dead. What did they do to get that on my Anakin? Because they didn't do a mass assist because this isn't Negotiator that we're facing. Mm, let's see. Let's just wait for a turn, guys. Let's wait for Plo for one turn. So that they'll get their reinforcements. And we can just wait to see. Oh, Clone Sergeant, almost dead. Wonderful. Let's get our plow in now. Get us get some healing, get some turn meter. Take out that sergeant. Let's see. He's about to take a turn, so we don't want if, if he does a basic, it's just going to just going to make the the buff that I was trying to get him. Or the debuff I was trying to get him make that go away. So we can give this to Houndstooth. Oh, they healed him a bit. Oh, there's still, there's still just we're just gonna bite our time a little bit here, guys. Can do our, can do our AOE. Mm. Okay, I think the next turn for Houndstooth will be a taunt. Okay, let's take out. So now we can do the AOE. Maybe get it. Yep, perfect. Now let's do the mass assist on Houndstooth because he can't get that protection up. Just melt him. Yeah, it's good to be patient sometimes, guys. Fleets don't always pay off this way, but 66, that, that's a pretty good result, I would say. And we ended up above the soft max once again, folks. I don't know what the soft max is in this division, but uh, I don't, let's see, what, what did we drop? We got a 60 here, we got a 63 here, so that we're at plus 3 at that point. Over here we got a 61, and a 62, 63, 63 here. So it's another plus 4, so that we're at, what, plus, plus 7 or something? This one is plus 3, no, plus 2. No, plus 3. Uh, that's a plus 10. This one, we got another two, I think. Another one or two. Yeah, okay. Uh, we're way above. So 1772. Th this guy has no hope of beating us, unfortunately for him. Uh, 1763. What did we get here? Is it a 70 something? <laughs> wow, okay. Let's see what feats we have or have not. Okay, so we, we're not getting the crit chance one. All too easy though, we're, we're getting there. I don't know guys, only 14 right now. Uh, we, we could be in trouble, we'll, we'll find out. Um, thanks for watching, I'll see you in a few minutes for the final. All right guys, we're on Prevail Man here. We're Prevail Man-ing. And we're in the finals for this one, undefeated so far. Need to get some fleet kills here obviously as well. Need to get some more squad kills. We're getting close on that one, though. Otherwise, we also have an opportunity to potentially get this Order 66 feat. This is going to be really tough for this account. Because I don't have General Skywalker to bail me out. I do have a Relic Jedi Knight Anakin. Then everyone else on the list is, like, unlocked, but not geared at all. Frodo, you're asking about a rough day for, for introvert Zareth? <laughs> I did say that, didn't I, on my announcement? Yeah, so... Nothing bad, I just... I've, I've been hanging out with people all day, or talking, like I... We did our... My sister and I have started a... A pretty low-key, just mostly just fun for us podcast that that's like... You know, we're, we're just recording once every couple weeks, we're doing a movie review kind of thing for movies that we enjoyed as ch children. So, you know, we spent a long time doing that, hanging out. I spent a long time with my family, of course. My mom called, I had to talk to her. Like, lots, lots of people, lots of discussion. So, introvert Zareth, you know, and now we're doing the stream, so more talking, obviously. And nothing bad, though.
Brinkton Skandar with a raid. What's up, man? Thanks for the raid, brother. The podcast is called Our Mom Had It on Has It on VHS. <laughs> Cause she's always bragging about VHS. About how like the movie she has on VHS. So yeah, that's it, it, nothing's been released. It'll be a couple months still till it's released, but that's that's what it's called. And we just like we just wanted an excuse to hang out with each other every couple weeks, so we just watch these old movies and it's fun. Okay, let's talk about Quinlan Voss and how I didn't scout him at all. We just let it roll over because Sim and Laz are not around, which is fine. They they have important business, uh, like legitimately important business, but it means. I've got to run this account as well, so trying to do all three accounts has been a little tricky, and I say that, but I wouldn't have scouted this guy anyways. Wow, he's got both Revens with Relics. Does he have Malak? Doesn't look like it, thank goodness. Malak's the scary one. You know, I did glance at this guy's roster because I needed to see what feats, because I needed to change out. I have, I have Padme. Uh, on offense now. So I put Grievous on defense. Oh, cool. Looks like... Looks like they don't have everything on defense. Show you guys what I did. Pretty much the same as I have been. So we have Grievous here. I should have put Newt because he dies twice. Well, I don't know if he dies twice at level 1. I'm not sure. But I, I did put just a weak droid so that if they do an AoE, Grievous just goes off. And then... I mean, I think last time I deployed Grievous, I just got like seven holds and I couldn't clear that zone. But then in the back, once again, we've got the Ewoks, the murder Ewoks. I need to get the Zeta on Wicket. The, the Zeta is actually underrated for that squad. And then uh, the Geos, of course. Up top, we've got the single Zeta Nice Sisters, but we do have gear 10 on Zombie, which is super important. And the just pretty bad Akbar. Akbar team. Because uh, the thing is, guys, we're going super weak on defense, as per usual. Trying for top 10, so we're trying for re for efficiency wins. Let's see what this guy's got for us. So we've got decent clones. Which which one does fives? Let's see. So, uh, so pro tip, guys. If you are using his ship at all, get, a, get his lead up to at least 7. May, maybe even spend the Omegas, because that actually boosts his ship. Doesn't really care, even if you don't plan on using his lead, get his lead up. Uh, let's see, this one is the one where he gains turn meter, I think. And this is the one where he sacrifices himself. Yeah, so he has the sacrifice Zeta. Prime Force. <laughs> Not, didn't happen. Doesn't happen that way, but... But it's pretty cool anyways. Let's see. Gear 10 crew with a lead, not the... So it doesn't have a pre-taunt. Uh, I don't know what to use on that. That's, that's like the perfectly priced team. I, I really don't know. Hmm. And then... Jedi training Ray with some okay stuff. Sure, is there lead zeta -ed? Just one Zeta here. The lead is the most important by far, yep. And then a Padme team, like a full Padme team, just low gear. I want to use my, <laughs> I want to use my Commander Luke team everywhere here, guys. Commander Luke beats every single one of these teams for decent banners. Uh, we're gonna have to find a different solution, obviously. Uh, let's see. Well, maybe, maybe we use Nest on this Padme team. They do have they that 3 PO there. Ah, gear. That's the thing. He's not nearly as squishy as gear 7 looks like. Hmm, I wonder we could use nest with Watt. If we need if, if we don't need Watt anywhere else, we'll use nest with Watt. That that'll work against this, I think. You were making an oblique reference to my mains battle. Okay. That's fair, Prime. I wasn't sure if you were around, if if you heard the, that discussion or not, so that's fair. Okay, so these guys are pretty weak. I, I wonder... I think we use Padme on one of them, probably on this crew team. Hmm. Yeah, I think this works. So, the key here, though, of course, it's this, the scariest part, is 
So we have these two. And then we can choose. We probably want Kenobi there. I mean, Snips would be nice. But she, she's only gear 11. But then we need to use the two just... Uh, I mean, I don't even think they have... I don't even think they have gear levels. Yeah, so we have Cody here. So we're going to drop banners. Oh, look at that. He's... <laughs> This guy's level 35, so he'll live a little longer, at least. <laughs> yeah, they'll just die to the first AoE. But... There's no real helping that. Can this, so the, can these three beat the remaining? I think we can. We have all the Zetas and stuff. Let's just jump in, guys. This, this could be a huge deal for our top 10 chances. Okay, we want to save the Dispel for later, I think. So what? Do we, you want to just, like, smite the First Order Officer a little bit? Uh, let's see. What kind of Dispel do they have? Just the Crew Dispel, which he will use if he can. Uh, let's see. The ten stacks. Don't really want to Dispel, though, yet. We just use a... Just use a basic here. Alright, took out him. Maybe we just get a stun on crew here. Nice. Okay, a pile in attack. Uh, sure, let's take out the TIE pilot here. Mm, look at this. Whoa, crew's gone. <laughs> so is our friend over there, apparently. kicking off. Alright, hopefully we get healing immune. Nice. Alright, so he'll hit me, but that's okay. Alright, not wonderful banners, of course, but we got the feet. And that, that is vital. I had to spell crew. Yeah, totally, uh, I just personally dispelled him. <laughs> just reach right in there. Rex lead here. What kind of speed does he have? So 236, but then he's got 20% extra. So we've got to do math here. I'll do math real quick. We've got 236, and it's plus speed, so you do a times instead. So it's times, what, 1 point... So it's plus 20%, so it's 0 0.125 or 0.120. So he's really 283 speed. I think, I'm pretty sure my Vader's faster than that. I think maybe we just use Vader here. Let's see how fast he really is, though. 269. He gives himself 16 on just right off the bat. Because of who he is. So, 70, 80, so, yeah, so 280 something. And then if he takes other people with him... Hmm. I mean, I, th I think that's what I want to do. His fives isn't too tough. Let's see what his hit point pool is. Yeah, it's not, it's not that big. So if we use his lead here, it's kind of just sketchy, guys. If we do, if we do this, hmm. Kind of putting ourselves at the mercy, so we will then we'll have we'll have a bad Jedi Revan team, a Commander Luke team. So can Jedi Revan up top? Can can we use Je Jedi Revan up top to kill anything? That's the question. Oh, uh, probably both of these. The Padme squad is the one that's a little bit scary, and we could could use Vader there. You know, maybe maybe here we just use Jedi. Actually, we'll just use the full. Jedi Revan team, or we could even use Bounty Hunters, potentially. I don't have great Bounty Hunters, but... Uh, bounty Hunters should work up top if... Nah, let's, let's do this. I think, I think Bounty Hunters are actually a good meet-in-the-middle response here. It could get ugly, for sure. Uh, hopefully we're fast enough. My guess is maybe they'll actually get all the turn meter. Maybe we'll, we're just screwed, but... They're not doing a ton of damage at this low gear level. 
They can be fast, they can get a lot of turns. They can do a surprising amount of damage, I guess, but... Okay, so, Bosk at least goes first. Yep, okay. Oh, dispelled me immediately. What? Shouldn't have happened that way, I don't think. Um, tell you what, let's... Where's fives? There you are, fives. Uh, let's just do a hit on him. If we do the AoE, then Rex is going to get another turn immediately. Let's just do a double tap here. Oh, I should have just done a stun or something. We're getting a lot more turns, guys. I am... Um, I'm pretty afraid. We gotta kill fives first, though, I think. Maybe we should have just killed Rex first. They're about to get their execute though, and that is pretty terrifying. I, I won't lie. Okay, so he's gone. Come on, kill Rex now. Just take him out. There we go. Okay. Situation fine. Situation, you know, everything's fine here. How about you? <laughs> Whew. I think the next Rex turn would have been a execute. Probably. At least that's my gloomy take on it. Uh, doesn't really matter. We'll do this. Oh. Okay, so we won't get max banners here unless this unless this burning actually heals Cad enough. Is it 59 though? Alright, 59. I, that's definitely acceptable. He's going to be getting some good banners against me though, so we really need to tighten our shot group a little bit here. Look at that. Geo's here. We needed Vader for that. Oh man, okay. Dodge the bullet. That is wonderful. Sweet. <laughs> Told you they'd do it. And then we can use Nest against the Phoenix, I believe. Whew. I mean, we could use Nest, I guess, against the Padme squad, like I said before. What do we kill this Jedi Training Ray team with? Hmm. Yeah, I mean, just trying to think, where does Commander Luke go best here? Should I training Ray? I mean, this is an okay team, but the, they've got good mechanics, but defense isn't going to do them that much justice. I think this is a chance we, we could use, we could use like Basti lead and just use Jedi to wipe them out, probably. CLS on what gig exactly? On, on Padme? I think so. We just gotta figure out what, what kills this Jedi Training Ray team. And I think that the answer to that is probably we just use Basti lead. Basti lead with Jedi Revan, of course, but I don't know. Do we need someone else here? Ezra would we're gonna get as many banners as we can here. CLS should be good banners. I mean, we can use CLS on that Padme team, though. That's the thing. I don't want to use Jedi Revan on, on Padme. That's Their Jedi Anakin is too relict for it to feel that safe, frankly. CLS versus Padme should be just fine. All right, let's mark BB-8. Maybe get this stun. Nice. Okay. okay. So she dispelled it. That's fine. Let's see. They can hit me back here. So let's just get, let's just get this thing up. And <laughs> that's what she said. We'll call. Okay. Got got him. Good. Now they can't hit me back. I don't have anyone that can help them with that. And we can actually debuff Ray here because she doesn't have her Zeta that dispels it automatically if she's debuffed. I mean, Finn, obviously, he, he just <laughs> he just took that uh, and ran with it, but all right, let's hand it to Ezra so we can get the dispel on Finn. And then uh, I guess we'll just hit Finn again. Finn again, begin again, etc. All right, setting us on fire. They're getting all sorts of turn meter. Don't like that, even slightly. 
Um, tell you what, let's just focus on Ray here for a minute, guys. Do the AoE. Pass around some buffs to people. Start doing some damage to Ray. Oh, I was hoping we'd get double hit. But there we go. Alright. Alright, Jolie. Good job, bud. And this too. Basti. Get some turn meter from for Yoda here. Oops, set us on fire. Hopefully didn't get through any of our protection. Though we did we do have the uh <laughs> we do have the battle meditation from Basti, so everyone uh, hit back when he did his AoE, so that was poorly timed on his end. Is this max or not? Yes, yeah, 60, because we, we didn't, they didn't get through any of our bonus protection. Good, okay, that worked out fine, obviously. Now we can use Commander Luke here. And the hope is that Chewie doesn't get any kills. because we want that feat. But I'm not gonna mess around with it too much. So the very start thing, start by shooting Anakin here. Then we wanna build up, I, I did this on a, whoa! Killed him real quick, dang. Um, sure, let's do an AoE, let's see what this can do. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll explain that that fight later, guys. <laughs> oh, that was funny. No, no suspense. We got home one here. Oh, well then I mean it's not a good team, but okay. All right, cool. Let's see. So that was another four kills for us, I think. Yes, yeah, so we got the servant of the empire one. That was good. No, we're, I was fine with Chupio getting kills. We, don't, we just don't want Chu E to get kills. By Felicia, says Tilo. Yeah, man. <laughs> That's so silly, man. Okay, we're, we're well on our way. Obviously, we needed 12 for this week and another 12 next week. So, yeah, if, if we have a good match, uh, we, we could get that in one more. One more uh, fight, actually, in the next, next week. I still got to take out these geos, so let's see, who do we want? Mostly we're just going to go with this team, I think. I think undersize is fine here. This is fine. <laughs> Under palp lead at 5v5, it's pretty nice. Because it, it just gives you more turns for Vader to, to, to just destroy people. So you do the force crush right away. They can't hit me back because it's a force crush. Then you go into Merciless. Dispel Spies nonsense. I got three. Oh, didn't quite kill Spies, so we might be screwed, in fact. It went from like, yay, this is fun, to, oh crap, we might be screwed. We'll just see. Uh, let's throw up Poggle now, at least. Because no one likes that guy at all. Alright, maybe get some fear on some people. Maybe get some stuns on some people. Give this to Vader here. See, ability blocks on that guy. All right, we're, we're in an okay-ish situation here, guys. I think we'll be okay, but it's always scary when you can't kill Spy right off the bat with a throw. Uh, I'll tell you what, let's just throw at the Alpha, though. Then we can just go around the board here and delete people. Let's just try to delete them with a Force Crush for fun. Did you see all those heels right above his head? Right there? That was kind of cool. Pretty neat. <laughs> What's up, Thane? Use GL Starkiller? Hey, we, I, I'd be okay with getting Starkiller. In the game, that'd be sweet. What kind of potency is on Zeb? No one knows to put potency on Zeb, I swear, guys. So we'll just apply Nest. I'd be down with having a GL Star Killer. He's kind of a cool character. Oh, they got Armor Shred, though. That's not cool. 
That ain't sweet, Sabine. Let's just take her out, shall we? Oh, you missed, Zeb. So I'm gonna hit you back for funsies. I just don't want to get dazed from Zeb. That's that's the main thing, guys. That's the thing I'm trying to avoid. Is getting dazed by Zeb. It's not the end of the world if it happens, but it, make, it will make me sad. There we go. No daze from Zeb available now. Hopefully just a 53 available. Oh look, this'll save Ezra. Ezra! Look at look at you! You got saved! Hera saved you. Look at that, you're doing all these attacks? Good, good for you, Ezra. You made an impact on this fight. Probably. If we looked for it, we'd probably find something, right? Ah, I got that 63 from Nest here. Vader's one of your only two Relic 7s and couldn't be happier? Yeah, he's... He's good. I, I wouldn't put him at Relic 7 these days. Maybe, maybe not, at least early account-wise, but... But yeah, I think it works-ish. Hold on, let, let's look at this for a minute. So I do have Negotiator available if we want. We have Cassian to start here. They have Bad Phoenix here. I mean, Negotiator works. I think... I think I like Falcon here better, actually. I don't know. Hmm. I'm gonna do more damage on the Falcon, though. Let's... I guess we could do Negotiator. I'm only a little bit afraid. Can do those guys. You know what? Let's let's take Akbar. I wanna I wanna use the Akbar fleet again. I miss it a bit. Just do the mirror match here. You're going for Sith Eternal. Yeah, Relic 7 on GMY. I mean, it, it's not the worst, but you probably want to be more in, closer to endgame before you get it, for sure. Uh, let's see here now. Let's just shoot here for funsies. Oh, nice. Just take out their the first half of their Phoenix team. That's nice. Um, Alright, Cassian, let's debuff you. You can cleanse yourself here. Oh, you didn't want to cleanse? You didn't fall for my trap? I guess it's time for you to die, then. Oh, or to go into stealth and do all sorts of assisting. That was the other option. What do we got? Is this Biggs? Yeah, Biggs is in. We got Biggs here. It's a Biggs deal. Get our own Cassian in. I'll show you guys how to actually use Cassian. There you go. Kind of like a mobile... Just Star Destroyer. Just the damage, damage wise, you can just plow through them. Who can we heal to max impact? Let's give it to Houndstooth. 68. That is our max for the max possible there. So, it's going to be tough for them to match it. We did drop a few, we dropped seven earlier. And they didn't put good teams down, so they have they have a lot of good teams, but I, I think they'll drop some. Let's see, 1757. What did we get on our last fight? I don't think I showed you guys what happened in my last fight. My opponent... Well, I did it on my own, but for the YouTube channel. Uh, yeah, so we attacked my Padme here. Dropped, what, like six, and realized that he couldn't actually beat me because this score was so good. So, 1772... What do we get on our first one? All of them have been pretty decisive this week. Not as good. 63. And then, what do we get just now? 57 is even worse. I don't know. Maybe we're at risk. Let me think. What did... I still think we're close to the soft max. What, what did we get? So, against the... Against the troopers... We ended up with, what, 59... Against the crew team, we got a 53. So we dropped 8 there. And then... What, we got a... We made 2 up here. Uh, we made 3 up here. 
So we dropped five, we, we made up another two, we dropped three. Alright, we're pretty close to the soft max here. And then with what? With Jedi Revan, we, we didn't drop any. It was just a straight up 60. With, with Padme, was that just a 60 for us there too? Probably. I don't remember now. Okay, so we're one below the soft max, I believe. If, I, if my calculations are correct. So I think think a fairly dominant night. What, do we have any feats otherwise? We're number 11 here. We gotta get the squad strategist tonight. Gotta get that fleet one worked on in a big way tonight as well. Uh, but we're doing okay. So if we if we claim those feats, if, if we get those... Uh, let's see. Yeah, so like our, within 100, if we get if we gained 100, we'd be at 26. Oops, 26, 1, 0, or 26, 2, 0, 8 would land us here on number five. Oh, that's fun. Walking Dad uh, with the zombie, like Walking Dead. That's cool. I hope that guy gets top 10. But if it's a choice between him and me getting top 10, I hope it's me. And then obviously there are people who have gotten the, the who have farmed the the really awesome feat. But yeah, number eleven. I, I'm happy with this because we can probably just play our way into the top ten just by doing our feats. Maybe some people pass us along the way, but I think we're we're in the range of top ten for sure if we have a good week next week. So that being said, for for my YouTube channel, I, I don't think unless he beats me somehow, which I don't think he will, I don't, I don't think, even though he saved a lot, I don't think he's going to find a way to <laughs> to pull this one off. If he does, I will update the, the stream at the end. If not, just assume that I won, and thank you all so much for watching, and remember that in all things, Zareth prevails. Especially in Division 8, apparently. <laughs> Maybe just even despite being in Division 8, I don't know.